Welcome to the King. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I didn't do my celebratory throat clear, and my mic isn't that fixed. Uh, now, who am I moving to? I just did Combat last, I believe. So, we're going to be doing uh, uh, Eddie. Oh, I don't see Eddie. Bam, there goes Eddie. <laughs> That's Eddie, so we're going to be doing Eddie. Eddie Gordo learned capoeira from a master during his imprisonment. Which pretty much this is master had Christy's a story. Named Christy. <laughs> Excuse me, Bravados. It's Christy's story, but he was playing as Eddie. To Christy. So I'm like, should I really do it? I mean, he is technically a character in the game. Shortly but after returning from the King of Iron know. Fist Tournament 3, Eddie took Christy under his wing and taught her the art of capoeira. I don't know what to say Let's just play it. She became an quiet. impressive fighter after two years of training. I'm on my nose still. <laughs> but Eddie left abruptly soon thereafter. Those responsible for my father's death must pay. His words were all that was left behind for Christy. Okay. I'm ready now. I mean, this is pretty much. Should I play it? I'll play it. I'm like, should I skip it? It's just Christie's open. It's like they kind of didn't put any real, you know, effort into it. Anyway, let's go with Eddie, which they wanted to make a Jamaican man, but really became a Brazilian man because. I don't think Jamaicans Fight. practice capoeira. I mean, I could be mistaken. I don't know. I'm saying out of ignorance, not out of ignorance. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it's a double entendre. There's two types of ignorance. People who just sound ignorant because they are. People who are ignorant because they don't know anything. I'm the the, the good ignorant, the innocent. Should ask my neighbors. You see, now that was bad. No, but they are. I'm serious. <laughs> you win. Round two. Let's go again. Fight. At least, they, at least he has a voice. Not like that the other dude who does Capoeira, the Afro, not the African, the Afro dude. He doesn't have a voice at all. He's just. Yeah. Even in, um. The last Tekken game that came out, Tekken Tag Tournament 2. You know, me and my nephew were playing, and he was like, "Yo, you don't speak," and I'm like, "Nah, you don't. Know, you just, you know." They, were, they had to be too PC with that one. Like, they didn't want him to sound like a straight up black dude. Round one. <laughs> Fight. They didn't want to say the, you know, the negative condemnation of black people. We've been called for years, and we try to put, not we, they, try to put a positive spin on it. I'm like, no. Bad words, bad words. Like, me calling somebody a toilet, and having toilet be like the bad, you know, you know, saying for some race of people, like, oh, you're a bunch of toilets. You know, just pick any random race, like, oh, you're a bunch of toilets. Then I'm like, okay. Then like, all right, okay, so I don't want to call your toilets, so I'll call you all toyjays or bidets or something. Still comes from a derogatory place, no matter how much you put a spin on it. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> Serious. So why, like, oh, you know, it's a GA at the end. Nah, it's still a toilet. You can call yourself a bidet, a toy shade, still a toilet. <laughs> Can't sugarcoat do. Round one. Seriously, that's what it's like. That's pretty much what the word is like. Taking a big piece of crap and sugarcoating it, or like putting seasoning on it and saying it's tartar. Yeah, it's beef tartar. Ah, crap! I felt it coming and I didn't do anything. It was awesome. I seen it, I felt it, and I was like, I still did. Oh, I still won. I don't know how, but... I seen it coming. I think that guy in the back helped me. Look, he hit him. Look, he's like, uh... Actually, he didn't. He just t-shirted me on. You win. 
felt good to beat you. Come on, Eddie. Listen, just say, I don't think they do, but they're like, oh, they're probably still trying to play him off as being black. But Brazilian? I mean, I don't know what other culture practices Capoeira. You know, I mean, I know the Brazilians, man. I'm playing with them. They'll, they'll attach knives to their feet and be like, yo, you want to go? Let's go. That's deadly, man. Attach a knife to your foot and start... Dance fighting with somebody. Oh, this is a joke. Put some knives to your feet. So how much is this a joke now? I don't know. It's crazy. I think I'm talking too much. I feel like Teddy from Bob's Burgers. Fight. Bobby, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Know what, what should I do with my towels? <laughs> like seriously, I feel like because he just talks and he talks and he won't shut up, and I feel like I'm doing that right now. If anyone doesn't know what Bob's Burgers is, I suggest you watch. They have some of the best songs known to man. Like every song that they come out with, I think they're even coming out with a CD. Got lost, but seriously, I love all the songs from Bob's Burgers. Round two. Fight. He's blocking everything. That's a break dance on him. Yeah, that. Oh, oh, I broke the thing. I've never done that before. In my 10 plus years of playing this game, I've never broke the uh, thing like that. It's cool. You win. Final round. Fight. Some of the best fighting stages known to man is in this game. For real. They just, I don't know, it's just like they took all the good stuff from, um, Ridge Racer, like, the background from Ridge Racer, like, how can we make this better? Let's have people fight in the background of Ridge Racer. Okay. You ain't got nothing on me. You could have won, but you stopped for a second. Look, you stopped. You could have hit me, but you didn't run. Just imagine, like, while we're fighting, all the cars from Ridge Racer just going around the track. That's if you're into Ridge Racer, I don't know. Gotta make sure it's here, it's not. Round it's... one. Fight. What? Oh, crap. Psych me out. What is up with that? That's stupid. Dance on him, Eddie. He's a pop star. I'm a pop star. Oh, here you go. Mm, I don't even know where that kick landed. The shoulder. He's grabbing his butt, but it looked like the shoulder. The it. I don't know. Round two. Fight. Okay. I said, I keep doing that same move over again. I mean, it works. You know, you can't fight with progress. He wants me. Yeah, that's a dance on me. These moves are actually slightly different from her, so I guess they put... At least they put work into his, um, his moveset. He doesn't fight the same as Christy, which is good. You win. all over the place. Round one. Did you put me in? I mean, why is he like, just like, coming from like a hard day of police stuff? And, I mean, that's how he styles it? I mean, button your shirt up. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's he's in his drunken stance. At least he's not giving me those jungle punches, man. All them jungle punches like last time was like crazy. You know? You win. No jungle punches, man. Round two. 
fight. I was about to say something really ignorant. A little bit of both type of ignorance, like I was talking about before, there's two types of ignorance. I was gonna say, someone should really make another Tekken game. <laughs> Tekken 7's getting ready to come out. See, it's a little bit of a stupid, you know, ignorance and a little bit of innocent ignorance. Like, I for honestly, no doubt, I forgot. Like, you win. I'm, I'm too busy thinking about, you know, my life when this game came out. It was a super rainy day that Tuesday, because you know all games drop on a Tuesday. It was rainy, and I had like round one, like like eighty dollars, and I got like this, which was fifty at the time. And I think I spent you know, like I spent twenty dollars on, on um, tag twenty, on tech and tag twenty. And you gotta ask yourself this: Are these the original copies I'm playing with? No. I sold them, bought them back. Then I sold them again, and I bought them back. Then I got married and I sold them and then I could not find them at the store. So I went online and I bought them. <laughs> so yeah, so that's a couple of times I sold and bought, sold and bought. I couldn't make up my mind. Sell it, and keep it. Okay, did it again. And here goes something that's not that ignorant. Someone should really make a decent Ridge Racer game, none of this mobile crap. You know, that, what is it, Unbounded, Bounded Breast, what is it? That last one that came out back in 2012, 2013, in Crash City or some weird crap. Oh, like, that one was like, eh. It's like, okay, we wanna be burnt out. Okay, yeah, let's be burnt out for a little bit. You win. Oh man, so seriously, I'm at the final stage? I'm just like absentmindedly playing. I'm like, uh, I'm not, I'm playing, but I'm not playing, playing. I think I talked the entire time and I did not once shut up. You know, serious. I'm not even gonna talk about his gi. Gee whiz, that's high up his butt. Okay, that was one stupid joke there. I said one stupid. <laughs> yeah, man, let's just let's let's get through Hayashi. <laughs> Stupidness. Oh, what's up? Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, I'm on the floor. I hate when you actually start playing for real. Oh, I'm gonna lose! No, I can't do <laughs> Yeah, right in the knees. <laughs> these geese. You heard of these nuts? These geese. <laughs> right in them geese of his. In the words of Akuma, geese up. And them geese, man. And these would be making you hit them keys like he or them keys like ha ah. <laughs> Make you hit them them keys like ah. hitting the high notes because you're hitting in the private parts and TV has taught me that when you get good there, your voice gets so squeaky and high. I don't know. Well I'm done. I'm not gonna comment anymore on this just wash it, let it sit in. Her ears are super huge, but how do you feel? Yeah, she's lethargic. Anyone you want to share this victory with? That chick is pale. So tell that us, dude's double chin is super wide. And yeah, that's it. He looks pervy. And that's it. I'm done.